Hi, Dan Saad from Saad Metal Recycling. I'm here with Alex and Eileen. Hey. And just talking a little bit about responsibly handling scrap metal. When you sell your scrap metal to a supplier or a recycler like us, it still is in your chain of custody. So you need to make sure that who you sell your scrap metal to is someone who's responsible and handles it in a sustainable way. Starting oftentimes with what is accepted or not accepted in the yard. Yeah. We definitely have to keep an eye on what we accept and don't accept coming through the yard. Um, when you guys pull in, we'll take a look at what you have. Uh, we don't take any cars or trucks, so no automobiles, unfortunately. And we also, um, with motors, they have to have all the liquid drained out of them. Um, we also don't take propane tanks. And we have a good stormwater uh, system here at the yard, so we try to keep everything responsible and sustainable. Yeah, so we handle things, we process. We're kind of a mid-level processor with what we do. So that actually enables us to keep this, this scrap metal yard very clean. So when your material that we pick up um, in your dumpsters or, or just as a pickup, when it's put into this, this process in the yard, it's a very simple process of either cutting, shearing, or baling the material. Those are the only things that happen to it here. Mm -hmm. So you know it's handled responsibly and then it's sold elsewhere. Now, as far as the accounting of it, we come in, we sort your metal, we get a ticket to you and we pay you, and we also track your accounting, and that comes in um, for sustainability tracking, correct? With a lot of our clients, um, they have a lot of reporting to do to their local municipalities. So we will, at the end of the year, give a full total of all of the ferrous and non-ferrous metals that they have recycled. So put that in a nice, nice report. It looks real nice. Send it over um, so they can send that off um, and just know that that is being reported in the proper And what ways. that does is not only for the sustainability side, but also just for the um, improvement side in your fab shop, in your manufacturing facility, you want to know how much scrap you're generating. Are you generating too much scrap? Is there a way you can improve on that scrap? And then of course, can you get the most value for that scrap? Mm -hmm. So that is really why that's very important. Another thing, what's happening just in the overall scope of things, and we've been at this business for 80 years. Uh, we've been doing the same thing all 80 years, handling your metal responsibly, but now there's more of an emphasis on it. And every company wants to operate in a sustainable way. And in fact, there's a lot of mandates to operate in a sustainable way. A lot of companies are going to, their end product or their end user is a bigger corporation, or it's sometimes a government entity. And there are requirements within that roll down to you as the customer and then also to us. So we take the, all of that very seriously because we know no matter how small or big you are, this is something you want to be involved in and making sure that your metal is handled responsibly. So that's a little bit about what we do here. If you ever have any questions about how we sustainably handle metal, how we sustainably report, and how we sustainably keep things out of our stream, please contact us and give us a shout.